Hello and welcome to some more Spin Wingspan. I'm the Harbinger and let's get to it. The opening uh, of the Wingspan is uh, one of the most, most important uh, decisions uh, you make. You need to decide which one of these uh, five cards to pick and uh, which five foods to pick. Uh, I um, like uh, some of the things we are seeing here. Uh, I, for example, I like the Griffin Vulture. Uh, it can, it will net you points based on how many predators you play uh, every end of the round. And with already unloading Ganeter, we can at least guarantee this will, will be worth five points. Uh, also, I see the yellow-backed Sapsucker uh, gaining extra food uh, from the first bird in the forest is really, really good. Um, also, we have the white-bellied sea eagle. That's also a um, that's also a potential uh, predator. Uh, so I think we really want to go for the griffin vulture. Now, uh, to, um, also the indigo bunting has the same. Uh, extra food uh, benefit as, as, as the yellow bellied sapsucker. Uh, it's worth more points, it costs a slight, slightly more food, but that will be offset uh, by the fact that we can activate it a lot. Now, I think we at least want to go for Gryph Gryphon Vulture and these two, just because we have um, uh, we have access to two predators and that means the Gryphon Vulture will, will be worth, will be worth uh, at least nine points uh, if we play both of them this turn. Now, uh, that means that in order to be able to play um, uh, to be able to play the bird before uh, we uh, gain more food, we need to take the yellow belt sapsucker because then we have the extra nectar and one of the f free foods we get um, to play with. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, birds named after a person and birds at the hand of your game. I don't like this one. Uh, it's easy enough to achieve, but uh, you have to spend a lot of uh, turns to do it. Um, but uh, birds named after a person, they can be interesting. We don't have any of them available here, but let's take that. It's uh, two points uh, extra for each of the correct birds. And we take a worker bay, yes. Now, what birds are available here? We have Northern Goshawk, another predator. Mississippi Kite, another predator. Uh, yeah, this um, Griffin Vulture can be very good this game. We start with the Yellow Bellied Sapsucker, uh, just so that we can get three food at a time. Um, not really too excited about the early food here, so we can play the Griffin Vulture and hope that uh, some other players will uh, start to pick it up. And yeah, there we have it. Let's take uh, let's take the Nectar while it's available and get the free uh, vertebrae from the supply. Mm -hmm. Now, question is, do we want to secure the Northern Goshawk? I don't think we need to do it. Do we want to play the Northern Gannet? Playing the Northern Gannet now will ensure that we can um, draw two cards. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Uh, and after that, we will gain more food for the white-bellied sea eagle. Or wait. Or wait. I'm changing my mind. Uh, I think we want to play the white-bellied sea eagle first, since we are going to need to gain more food. And uh, taking the nectar now is great for us. So let's take the nectar. And another free food. That means we also have to play the Griffin Vulture to take the eggs. That's okay. And um, we want to do that so we can get two eggs rather than the one uh, we would, would have gotten from this column if we hadn't played the Griffin Vulture first. Uh, eggs in the forest is the round and gold, so it's great to have that prepared. And the next round we have uh, the Northern Gannet for that go around, and then we have the Griffin Vulture and the White, white Bullet Seagull for the third round. Yeah, this is coming uh, greatly together. Uh, let's see, we do have those. We're playing the Sea Eagle then. And uh, yeah, we do have the option to just play the Northern Gannet uh, from the food we have. Uh, that way we can also pick up maybe the Northern Goshawk. I think we, we want to try to do that. And um, yeah, that would be a third, uh, third predator for us. Now we can't play it this turn, but uh, we can have it, uh, have it available for us. Oh, a fourth predator, jeez. 
this is going to be one big griffin vulture. Awesome. Uh, we don't get a point from here uh, since it's rounded down and on ties, but uh, that's okay. Uh, let's see if we uh, we could still do it well in the other other two rounds. But first, we need to gain more nectar to play these two guys. Yeah, there aren't any uh, more predators here, but uh, the white backed uh, woodpecker is a really good card. A third uh, extra uh, extra dice is uh, really really good. Anyway, we need more cards for the, to play the Goshak for free. So uh, let's take at least one card and take the Woodpecker, and uh, we can uh, use this to gain more food since we are playing three um, three food uh, birds. The Grey Shriek Crush also a really cool card. Um, we haven't uh, yet we are yet to get. Uh, bird for historian but uh, we will get there so let's take the nectar and let's take at least vertebrae since we're using that for those birds and we are resetting and uh, we can choose either the fish or the rodent uh, we have to cage it uh, but that's just additional points so we love that and the free vertebrae again theory could play the white-faced ibis now but I think we want to... Uh, ooh, that's us. We can, we get the, the Shriek Trash for free. Thank you very much. Uh, I think we are then playing the white-backed uh, woodpecker. And after that, uh, we could be playing the Shriek Trash. Uh, let's see. We only have two eggs here, so we, we want... Uh, we want to uh, prioritize uh, predators that go in the um, that go in the uh, grasslands, so that we can uh, convert extra resources into eggs, since eggs are needed. I forgot to um, place the eggs on the correct birds. That's a huge shame. We wanted to have at least one on this guy. Uh, well, we just have to gain some more then. Now, um, we have two nectars here, so we need to spend them. So let's place the white-faced ibis. And uh, be happy about playing an 8 by 8 pointer that also contribute to our uh, griffin vulture. And uh, if we are doing this here, we should at least uh, be uh, in some contention for the round and goal. And maybe, maybe we get a free nectar from the opponent and then we can play the Shriek Trash. We got a free uh, grain instead. That's That still counts, we can still play. Now, uh, we want the Grey Shriek Trash rather than the Goshawk uh, since uh, this activates for stuff, or I mean, the, the the probability that we actually get to activate it is less. Um, it's it's about fifty percent that we get to activate it, and we have to activate it two more time, two times bef before it's better than the Goshok. But I like to gamble. So, no, 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 wait, I'm thinking about a different thing. Uh, the great gray, the gray Shrike Trash is really great because you get to cage tons of things. Yeah, 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 sorry. Let's, uh, let's do that and uh, take these eggs. And uh, hope that we get lucky, lucky, lucky. We get a free berry, that's nice, but we are also gaining four rodents for the griffin, griffin vulture. And uh, hopefully we will s it will soon turn out a uh, card for us to play in the grasslands. Let's see, the red leg partridge could work for us. Uh, we would get a uh, really great uh, payout for that one. Since um, 
since uh, it would uh, lay a br uh, egg on this bird, this bird, and on the itself. So it's three eggs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we want that. Um, mm -mm -mm. Uh, do we want to hold? No, we don't want to draw a face of a tray. You may reset the tray before doing so. These cards are great. They let you look at plenty of cards before you have to pick one. Um, mm -mm. Uh, but let's take a random one. The Wood Duck. The Wood Duck is a pretty nice card, uh, but it's a bit late to um, to play it and expect a huge payoff. One thing really interesting about the Patridge is that it will actually lay eggs in the correct bird's nests uh, for the round and goal. So yeah, let's uh, hope for that. Uh, the food for it is already here and we even get even get the free uh, nectar on top. Uh, let's see, we don't need to pick the, the rodents because we will get that from um, uh, from taking cards instead. Uh, so yeah, let's but let's take rodent anyway since that's the predator food. Two food for it. Kaching. Let's cage it all. Then we will get another nectar, and we will get another fish, and we will get a free bird ray from the supply. Awesome. Now the reason I really like the forest engines is that uh, you will gain a lot of nectar control. Uh, winning the nectar is 15 points uh, if you win all four habitats, and um, having a good forest engine will just ensure that you can always pick a lot of nectar, and you don't offer, you don't lose out on activating the forest since you have um, point gain uh, in the forest. Now, yes, we are spending the one single egg we have, and next turn we will get five, six eggs, maybe? Uh, yeah, we can afford to uh, sell off a um, uh, single vertebrae for a sixth egg. So, let's do that. Sell off the vertebrae, and then we will uh, make sure to lay at least one egg here, and we'll lay eggs on these birds, and um, the red-legged partridge will lay three eggs, uh, one here, one there, and one on itself. So now we have six. This card is a really good card to have early in the game, uh, but uh, also just in late game it's, it's really nice. It's like three points for each activation, but you of course have to um, have to have a space on the birds you uh, wish to put it on. Blue Winged Warbler, really good card. Uh, two food for eight points. We could uh, we could try to pick that up, uh, but let's first just uh, play the Northern Goshawk. So we are guaranteed to. Um... Ooh, that's a thing. Do we spend nectar on it since we are losing the nectar if we don't do it? I think we are doing that, or we could we could spend nectar for an additional egg. Yeah, that's not um, that's not let's uh, tuck instead. Talk to Wood Duck and the Canada, Canada Goose. And we are spending eggs from these two birds. Since we are uh, decided to um, gain more eggs, that will uh, gain us uh, also the uh, fourth um, platform bird. So let's do this discard a nectar and place eggs here. And there, nice. Also, that uh, makes us the joint first on nectar in the uh, grasslands. Now let's just take an additional five points on the griffin vulture. Awesome. Now the only thing uh, I also want now is to have uh, the bonus card for uh, predator birds. That would be a really, really nice. Um, Way to round off, uh, round off this game, or the second, uh, the second um, raven that lets you get score points of uh, of predators. Anyway, uh, we have the option to maybe pick uh, one of these guys. Uh, this is a five pointer 
uh, for one food, uh, we can afford to play it immediately. Uh, it costs us one egg, so it's a four pointer. This is a three pointer. This would be a, a five pointer where we can tuck eggs to gain grain. Now, is that something we're interested in? Maybe. We are currently in the lead on brown powers. I'd like to, I'd like to place one more bird uh, to make sure that we can win it. Also, uh, pay attention to uh, this being a historian uh, proking bird, so it will be actually will be worth eight points. That makes me think we uh, can afford to play it. Now, it's uh, it isn't a great uh, dice roll for these birds, but. Um, uh, mm, 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 mm. Let's gain food for this guy first, and then uh, then draw uh, afterwards. Now we can first do this, re-roll, take the nectar, and uh, oh yeah, we're re re resetting the bird feeder here anyway. Taking that, uh, let's cage it, take the nectar. Uh, let's oh we're resetting again. Uh, that's a shame. Um, and take uh, one more nectar, uh, vertebrae, sorry. Uh, anyway, the opponents were reset, re resetting. They're only taking one food. That's probably a off-habitat uh, off uh, bird, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's it's this one. Ah, well. Uh, let's then take Mayor Mitchell's uh, cockatoo and uh, Malfoy. Uh, let's see, one, two, three egg mouthful, not interested in that. Are we tossing an egg or a nectar to draw additional stuff? I think we are. We're tossing a nectar since we can't, we won't probably be using all of the nectar anyway. And uh, yeah, Squack or Heron, we're not doing that. But uh, now we at least know that we can play this, tuck these two cards. And uh, I took one card and uh, sacrificed another card uh, for another egg, and uh, we are happy, I believe. So let's do this. We are eating these two eggs. We only get to eat one egg. That's fine. And uh, yeah, activating here gets us four points, five points for attack. Uh, six, uh, seven, eight uh, for activating uh, this bird, and uh, yeah, it, second time it will be seven points since we can't uh, put the second egg here. But I think that's the um, optimal line of play here. So let's uh, take these resources here, and let's lay eggs on these birds. Check a squacko here and give everybody grains and let's lay eggs and we are doing a repeat sacrificing two food to lay four eggs uh, lay eggs on all of these birds and then we are taking a cards and laying as many eggs as we can I think this, I think this turned out to be a really great game. Uh, we played a lot of um, high-value uh, birds. Uh, we uh, won the nectar game. Uh, we have a griffin vulture that's been uh, eating, um, eating, uh, eating good out of uh, predators other skills. And uh, yeah, twenty-two eggs is awesome. Uh, we also won two of the rounds. Yeah, I think this is a really, really good scoring game. At least 120, I guess. But um, of course, I could have checked, but I didn't. So it's uh, five points from here and five points from the grasslands. We can see here the gold stars indicate that we have on, and uh, five from the wetlands. Now, uh, how did we? Uh, how long did we end up here? 40 points here, okay, it feels like a 121, but what is happening here with this guy? Yeah, yeah you, you, you aren't allowed to beat me. 23 food caged. 
yeah, a 120 game. Pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, Griffin Vulture from uh, Opening Hand. Uh, really, really great uh, pickup. Uh, and yeah, it just felt, uh, felt uh, really good together with uh, all the... Uh, all the predator birds and uh, yeah happy about how this uh, how this game uh, turned out if you like this kind of content please uh, like the video to show uh, the algorithm that uh, it's uh, worth uh, watching uh, i'm harbinger and i'm out